How's it going guys? Before we jump into the video, I have a message from my sponsors that I'm very grateful for in this video. Have you guys ever been playing Brawlhalla and looking in the store and thought, man, these skins are so awesome, I wish I could buy these skins, but I don't have any money. I wish there was a way that I could get these skins for free just by playing the game, you know, like earn the skins. Well, now there is, guys, thanks to Playvig. Playvig is an app that is completely free to download, and not only Brawlhalla can you earn rewards in, but many other games as well that you're probably already playing. Um, but let's look in Brawlhalla. So once you're in Brawlhalla, you can pick a quest that you want to compete in, let's say win one ranked game. Simple as that, right? All you have to do is complete the quest, and you're going to be rewarded with Playvig coins. You can also do jackpot quests, which is based on your performance in the game. So the better you play, the more coins you're going to get. There's universal leaderboards where you compete against other people. There's always several options on how you can earn play big coins. Not only can you get gift cards for Steam, but you can also get them for Amazon, Nike, Adidas, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, etc. Plus tons of gaming equipment, toys, books, collectibles, clothing, and more. All kinds of cool stuff guys, all for free, all for just playing the game that you're already playing. I mean, you I've had this sponsor a couple times in the past and if you weren't one of the people that clicked on the link to download Playvig, you really should now guys because they, there's literally nothing to lose and only everything to gain. And right now guys, there's a special promotion going on where Playvig will award 3 viewers each with 20,000 Playvig coins. But you have to sign up between now and October 28th when the drawing occurs at 12pm Pacific. So don't wait around, click on the link in the description right now. Special thanks to Playvig for sponsoring another one of my videos and I hope you guys enjoy earning those free rewards. Now let's get to the video. How's it going guys? This is Lucian Sword and today we're going to be taking a look at some of the rarest items in Brawlhalla. Brawlhalla is a game with tons of customization options including skins for legends and weapons, avatars, taunts, podiums, colors, and more. This aspect of the game is one that I've always loved and I'm a sucker for collecting pretty much as many of the rarest items as I can get my hands on. Even though I've been playing this game since it was in beta and have spent more money than I'd like to admit, I still don't have all of these items that are on my list. Now, for the purpose of this video, I'm only including digital items, and I'm also not including any avatars related to the esports sponsors. Number 10. Number 10 is Community Colors. Community colors, or CCs, are something the developers of Brawlhalla created as a reward for people who are active in the community. CCs are not something you can get by simply asking for them. You have to be given the code, either by being randomly chosen in a dev stream on Twitch, participate in tournaments, create some awesome artwork, or get them from an established content creator. The color option unlocks for all legends once you redeem the code. Community colors are the least rare item on this list because of the frequency at which BMG gives them away, but they are still somewhat hard to get. I'm fortunate enough to be given CC codes from BMG, and I typically drop one of these codes in the comments of each of my videos while I have them in stock, or give them away during my live streams. While not the best looking colors in my opinion, they are still desirable to have just to say that you have them in your collection at the very least. Number 9 Number 9 is a group of items. You have the Charged Bodvar and Charged Ada Gamer Avatars, the Charged OG Colors, and the Sweet Taste of Victory Taunt. Now, I put all of these items together because they were released all at the same time in patch 3.42 on May 13th, 2019. 
This was a massive content patch that included the charged Bodvar and charged Ada gamer avatars, which you got for logging into the game during this event. The charged OG color scheme was unlocked by winning a game with each legend, and the sweet taste of victory taunt was unlocked for gaining 10,000 total XP during the timed event. These items have only been available once since they were released, which was during that event. Though I do expect them to see another event in the future. As of right now, they are unattainable, making them somewhat rare. The charged OG color scheme in particular looks amazing on most legends as well, in my humble opinion, but black and green are like my favorite colors, so I'm a little bit biased. Number 8 Number 8 is the Salute Taunt. The Salute Taunt is a special taunt that is rarely available in the Mahala store for purchase, and also has all the proceeds of every purchase go towards a charity. This is one of the best taunts in the game in my opinion. I almost always use it at the beginning of every match I play. If you're wanting to get this taunt and you see it in the store, you best buy it because it can be an entire year or more without appearing again. Number 7 Number 7 is the Enter Mordex Avatar. The Enter Mordex Avatar is a unique avatar in that it was given away for free during the launch window for the Legend Mordex. Anyone who logged into Brawlhalla during this time was automatically given the avatar, and if you didn't play during that time, you simply can't get it, which makes it one of the rarest items in the game. Now, I don't think they've ever done this for any other legend that was launched, so it's pretty unique in that aspect as well. Number 6 Number 6 is the Metadev Skins. There's currently four different Metadev skins in Brawlhalla, and all of them are hard to get for the average Joe. The first Metadev released was Orion, followed by Bryn, Ember, and Bodvar. These are unique skins that you can typically only receive by going to an event like PAX, Dreamhack, BCX, etc., and actually meeting a developer of the game, hence the name Metadev. The codes for these skins are on pretty cool cards, kind of like a Magic the Gathering card. People do sell these on eBay, but if you go to the events, you can get these for free. BMG will also occasionally give away a Metadev skin during their live streams. Number 5 Number 5 is the Cure Seeker Hammer. The Cure Seeker Hammer is a unique hammer skin that has only been available for purchase in the store a handful of times. Similar to the Salute Taunt, the proceeds from the purchase go to a charity or cause that BMG has chosen, so not only do you get the rare hammer skin if you buy it, you also feel good knowing that you're helping a worthy cause. As I said, this only appears in the shop from time to time and as of right now is not available for purchase. Number 4 At number 4 we have the BCX Avatars and the Mammoth Fan Helpers. The BCX 2016, 2017, and 2018 Avatars and the Mammoth Fan, Mammoth Super Fan, and Mammoth Mega Fan Helpers are items that were available for purchase through Steam that are no longer available for purchase since the addition of crossplay to the game. These packs typically included a BCX avatar, a mammoth helper, and 300 mammoth coins. The proceeds from the sales went to supporting the Brawlhalla esports scene, plus you got all these awesome items. So it was a great deal, and I was lucky enough to be able to purchase these while they were available. Because you can't get these anymore, they're definitely rare to see, especially the original 2016 pack items. Number 3 at number 3 we have the Yeti Taros. This is probably one that a lot of people don't even know about because it has actually never been in the game store. The only way you can get this unique Taros skin is to purchase a Brawlhalla t-shirt for tw about $20. 
and the code is on a tag that comes with the shirt. Now, I jumped on this when I first heard about it because A, the shirt looks amazing and I want to rep Brawlhalla in public, and B, it comes with an exclusive tarot skin that looks pretty amazing too. And yes, the shirt is still available for purchase right now as far as I know, so if you are interested, I suggest jumping on that before they stop selling it. Number two. At number two, we have the Dawn Hammer and the Spring Breeze bow. The Dawn Hammer is an exclusive hammer skin that was part of a pack you could purchase back in May of 2017 that included the Spring Shard 2017, the Dawn Hammer skin, and 300 Mammoth coins. The Spring Breeze was similarly available in a pack that included the Spring Championship 2018 avatar, the Spring Breeze bow, and 300 Mammoth coins. These were timed exclusive packs and are no longer available for, to purchase or otherwise acquire, making them quite rare. Number 1 At number 1, we have the Alpha and Beta Avatars. These are the rarest items in Brawlhalla. The Alpha and Beta Avatars are items you received automatically for free if you actually purchased, yes for a brief time Brawlhalla wasn't free to play, or got an invite and played Brawlhalla while it was still in Alpha or Beta. I'm lucky enough to have the Beta Avatar as I got into the game pretty early on thanks to a recommendation from a friend. Alpha is even more rare, obviously since these were given to players for being in the very beginning of the game, you cannot get these avatars anymore. You either have them or you don't. There's no code to unlock them and they aren't for sale. That makes them the rarest items in the game. Now let's take a look at some honorable mentions. Chest exclusives. The Brahalla store always has at least one or two chests in the Mahala in rotations that each contain a variety of skins and three exclusive skins for each chest. Since you get a random skin when opening the chest, the chance of getting an exclusive is low if you don't already have the other skins. And since the chests are only available for a short time and then take months to show up again, the exclusive skins are somewhat rare. Another honorable mention are the seasonal skins, colors, and items. These include all the skins and items that are available during special holiday events that occur every year. The holiday events include Winter Holiday, Valhallentines, Luck of the Brawl, Heatwave, Back to School, and Brawlhalloween. My last honorable mention goes to the Asgardian skins. These include the Asgardian weapon skins, the UI theme, and the Asgard Bodvar skin that you can only obtain by purchasing the collector's edition of Brawlhalla, worth around $100. Though somewhat rare, the fact that anybody can purchase the collector's pack makes them easy to obtain if you have the money to spend. You also get a bunch of mammoth coins and the All Legends pack in this purchase, and I personally think it's well worth the money if you love the game and have the money to spend. That's it for this video guys. Do you have any of these rare items that are on my list? Let me know what item or skin you are most proud of in the comments below. For me, it's definitely my beta avatar and my metadev skins. And be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. I hope to see you in the next video. Take it easy guys, this is Lucian Sword.